make some crab cakes, which you can serve either as an appetizer, or of course, part of a full course meal with some side dishes, your favorites that could go along with them. In our crab cakes, we'll be putting, of course, crabs, some celery, some red, yellow peppers, onions, a little bit of thyme. We'll be adding some mayonnaise or yogurt, whatever you prefer, of course, some breadcrumbs. We'll be taking that, putting those into balls, and putting them in the refrigerator for about two hours just to chill. Then we'll take them out, saute them, finish them off in the oven. Come on, let's go ahead and get started now. Okay, let's go ahead and get the ingredients in here. We've got the celery and the bell peppers that I've already previously chopped up. So we'll add those in here. Put uh, some of the onion, or actually all the onion in here as well. We've got an egg, raw egg. We'll just crack that. Nice job, Jerry. A little bit of the uh, no shell in there. Very good. Add a little bit of, of thyme, about a quarter of a teaspoon. We're going to add that uh, yogurt or that mayonnaise, whichever you prefer, inside of here as well. Get it all in there. And we will add, of course, the crab. And we have a uh, one and a half cups of crab that's in here. I'm sure it's guaranteed without any shells. Kind of mix that around with our hand a little bit. I prefer to get my hand in there so I know what's going on. And we're going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce. And we'll add a little bit of the breadcrumbs. Some people prefer the breadcrumbs, kind of hold off on them and put them in later. But I prefer to put them in right now. So we've got that and we're going to take a quarter of a lemon, take the juice, and we're going to pop the juice right inside of there as well, add a little bit of the tangy, and we'll pull out the one seed that I added, because we don't necessarily need that unless you prefer a little bit of extra. Secret ingredient is always lemon seeds, no matter what you think. So we're mixing all of that together right now. Okay, and we have a nice creamy consistency as you can see. Okay, what we did next then is we got an ice cream scooper and scooped out some of the crab into small little balls, rolled them in some of the extra crumbs that I put on a plate, and as you can see, put them here on the sheet cake, or sheet pan. And then what we did is went ahead and just made them into small little patties, kind of like hamburger patties in a way, but smaller ones. And in this batch, we were able to get 10 out of them. So now what I'll do is I'll put them in the refrigerator for two hours, and then We'll go ahead and put them on the pan and, and saute them up before we put them in the oven. Okay, the crab cakes have been in the refrigerator for about two hours just to firm them up. And what we're going to do is put them on this skillet. We're just going to brown them just for a few minutes. And then what will happen is, once I've browned them on both sides, I'm going to go ahead and then put them in the oven for uh, about two to three minutes here. I'll just flip this over from the other side. You can see how brown they are. I put just a little bit of oil in the pan to help the browning along. And we're on probably just about a, a medium heat. You don't want to do it too much, but uh, just the right amount. All right, we've got the last ones here. Put them on the cookie sheet that I had. The, that little bit out of the way. And the oven is at 350 degrees. Look how those are, nice and browned. We're going to put them in the oven, 350 for, oh, anywhere from two to four minutes. We'll probably go about four minutes on them. Okay, our crab cakes have been in the oven now. They're all done. Let's go ahead and plate those up. We'll put two on each one here. They look pretty good. We're serving that today with some uh, arugula salad that uh, my sister-in-law Marge really likes a lot and Marge we've also got some avocado on the top here of course some tomatoes some pine nuts and uh, some very light vinaigrette um, dressing and here we have a romalade sauce which we have made from scratch and we'll put those right here on top of the crab cakes and we are just about ready to go All right, our crab cakes are done, the salad's ready. Pour ourselves just a little bit of a Chardonnay to go with this. White wine, of course, with crab cakes would be great. This is Jerry. Just remember, if I can do this, you can too.